A plane carrying 303 passengers landed at the Vatry Airport of France for refueling. After an anonymous tip-off, this plane was detained there. Passengers were questioned and uh, investigated if it was a uh, case of uh, suspected human trafficking. After all that, after that four-day uh, four investigation, most of these passengers, 276 of them, were sent back to India and they landed in Mumbai this morning. Now, 23 of them are said to have asked for asylum in France. Now, why were these people on that flight, even though they have come back? Because technically, there was no illegality for, for them uh, when they went from here to Dubai. And from Dubai, they were headed to Nicaragua. Now, many Indians go to Dubai for various reasons, for tourism, for shopping and for work. So, the, uh, that is not an illegality. If they were headed to Nicaragua, where they might have got a visa on arrival, like many other Central American countries, even that would not be an illegality. But if from there, they would head to Mexico, US-Mexico border, which is almost uh, more than 3000 kilometers uh, border, if they had headed there and tried to enter the US illegally, now that would have been an illegality. But the suspicion was human trafficking and two people have been detained in France on the suspicions and they would be investigated further. Some people have asked for asylum. Let's see what happens to them. But what exactly was happening there? What was the suspicion for which that plane had to stand in, at that airport for four days? Now, this route uh, is a very popular route, it said. Uh, it is called a donkey route. The donkey route is that which is used by illegal immigrants to enter US or Canada illegally when they cannot enter these two countries legally. Now, uh, what was the donkey route was something where uh, the, the people who wanted to enter these uh, countries would reach uh, one of uh, uh, either Colombia from where they would head to Panama. Now, there they had to cross the Darien Gap. Now, Darien Gap is a uh, is a rainforest infested with wild animals and also robbers. And several times these illegal immigrants who were walking on foot would encounter them and lose their lives. This is not only Indian uh, uh, people who uh, do try to do these things. There are also uh, thousands and lakhs of people who do that uh, from other countries like uh, uh, African countries. So this is one route which was made quite popular and called Dunkey Road. Now, uh, migrants uh, face all sorts of uh, problems in uh, this uh, situation. But even then, they kept on going for these countries for whatever reasons. Uh, the US Customs and Border Protection data show us that uh, from February 2019 to March 2023, up to 1.49 lakh Indians were detained while attempting to enter the US illegally. Indians actually account for 2% of all illegal immigrants to the US. Now, what happens at the border? After facing all these problems, and there is one more donkey route which I should tell you about, and that is where the story of this chartered plane comes. Uh, so, uh, now the new route is that the people who want to uh, cross over to US or Canada illegally, they take a chartered flight, go to one of the Central American countries like uh, uh, Ecuador, Bolivia, Guyana, where uh, it is easier for Indians to get a visa on arrival. There, from there, they take a boat, go to Mexico, and from there they try to uh, go into the US. Once they manage to get into the US, because it is easier for the US uh, authorities to uh, detain those people who have come in rather than patrol the entire stretch, from uh, there they wait for uh, the decision to come whether they can stay there, where, uh, whether they can uh, get the asylum or not, that is up to the US authorities. Now, the money which is spent on this donkey route is usually anywhere between 15 lakhs to 40 lakhs, but sometimes can cost as much as 70 uh, lakhs. So, this is the kind of money these people shell out to go to the US. Now, this is whether this was happening there or it was something else, it is still to be seen. But because technically there was no illegality uh, involved on part of these passengers, so they have come back to India. But people who are suspected of actually uh, organizing this human trafficking, if indeed it was a human trafficking case, they seem to have been detained there. And of course, some people have not come back because they want an asylum there. So uh, 23 people are still there who want asylum, so they are still there. But this donkey route is still 
alive and kicking and in spite of all the dangers in spite of the fact that this time these people who have come back must have lost money if they indeed uh, paid uh, uh, to go to the us uh, illegally but this route keeps on attracting people who do not have any legal way to get into the us or canada because the smugglers and the agents tell them that this is a safe route and there wouldn't be any problem and believing them these people try to enter these countries illegally sometimes in the process losing their lives as well in new delhi kadambari sharma for ndtv